Mathematics for Machine Learning Specialization. This is one of the most popular machine learning programs on Coursera. And the numbers show it. There are over 200,000 students enrolled in this course and the average rating for it is 4.6 out of 5 stars. But does this all mean that you should try it too? My name is Daniel and today I have the Mathematics for Machine Learning Specialization review for you. So things I am going to cover in this review are Course overview, structure and content, pricing and certification, career opportunities. Traditionally, we will look at some student reviews. And I will let you know what I personally think about this course series. Also, guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts. And now let's start. Overview. Ok, folks, the goal of this program is to help you master the essential mathematics that serves as the backbone of machine learning and data science. But don't worry, it's not just about memorizing formulas and crunching numbers. This specialization focuses on building a strong, intuitive understanding of the math concepts, so you can see how they connect to real-world applications. By the end of this journey, you will not only have a solid grasp of the underlying math, but also the ability to apply it to machine learning and data science projects. Prerequisites. Alright, and here is what you will need to know before getting started. First, you should have some high school level math under your belt. This will give you a solid foundation to build on as you explore the world of machine learning math. Now, having a bit of Python know-how can be helpful. But don't worry if you are not a coding expert just yet. You won't need it for the first two courses. However, when you reach the third course, which is a bit more challenging, you will want to have a basic understanding of Python and the library called NumPy to tackle the assignments. So, guys, if you have got the math background and are ready to learn, I think this specialization is the perfect starting point for your machine learning journey. And remember, you can always brush up on your Python skills along the way to make the most of the third course. Structure and content. Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in the return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content I make, that's all. So, like I said, there are just three courses in this specialization. They take from 18 to 20 hours to complete, and each course includes 4 to 6 modules. And here are the courses I am talking about Mathematics for Machine Learning Linear Algebra. In the very first course of this specialization, you will be exploring the exciting world of linear algebra. Here is a sneak peek of what you will learn. First, you will break down what linear algebra is all about and how it connects to the data used in machine learning. Next, you will dive into vectors and matrices. As you go along, you will learn how to work with these mathematical tools and manipulate them to solve problems. Mathematics for Machine Learning Multivariate Calculus and here is what you can expect in the second course of this specialization. You will kick things off by revisiting some basic calculus concepts to make sure you are all on the same page. Next, you will combine those ideas with the matrices and vectors you learned in the first course to explore something called data fitting. As you progress through the course, you will learn how to optimize those functions so they can accurately represent your data, which is a crucial part of machine learning. Mathematics for Machine Learning PCA. And in the third and final course of this specialization, you will be taking your mathematical skills up a notch as you dive into dimensionality reduction with principal component analysis. And here is a taste of what you will discover. You will take the mass concepts you learned in the first two courses and apply them to a technique called principal component analysis. PCA is a powerful tool used to simplify and compress data with many dimensions. And guys, I have to say, this course is a bit more challenging than the previous ones. So, be ready for that. As I mentioned before, some knowledge of Python and NumPy library will be really useful here. Price and certification value. Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. 
And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback, I have seen some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Now let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you will also get a career certificate. And it can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But folks, let me be straight with you. In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. Based on my experience, employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificates you hold. Career opportunities. So, as I am sure many of you wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, guys, I can say that potentially it does. Because this course teaches you some solid skills. And that kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. That's why, guys, it's completely up to you if you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career or just a way to extend your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses or learning programs. Moreover, according to my experience, some interview preparation will be necessary too, especially if landing a high-paying position is your goal. Student reviews. Ok, folks, time to look at some student reviews. Well, I can say that the majority of reviews for this course are pretty positive. But as with every course out there, there is praise and there are complaints. So let's start with positive reviews. The majority of students know that this course series is well structured and all the complex concepts are well explained. Here is one of the positive reviews I found, for example. I enjoy the lectures, the professor has a good speaking and teaching style, which keeps me interested. Lots of concrete math examples which make it easier to understand. Very good slides which are well formulated and easy to understand. On the other hand, some students know the big difference between the first two courses and the last one. The first two courses in this series were amazing and provided a very intuitive understanding of the mathematics. I felt like I had no idea what I was actually trying to do this entire course and basically had to learn it all on my own. This was basically a punch in the face and required much more background knowledge of linear algebra or Python than the previous classes provided. If you are going into the third course of MML, I recommend you do some outside study beforehand to get up the speed or else you might be spinning your wheels and get frustrated. So keep all that in mind, folks. Eat the mathematics for machine learning specialization for seed. Ok, folks, it's time for the big question. Should you invest time and money in this specialization program? And my answer is, if you want to boost your knowledge of math for machine learning, it's a really great option to consider. This specialization provides a fantastic deep dive into the math concepts that power machine learning. The instructors are top-notch and they have put together coursework that truly helps you grasp the material. Now, this specialization is definitely challenging. But if you are willing to put in the effort, you will find that the knowledge you gain is well worth it. Alright, my friends, and that's all about my Mathematics for Machine Learning specialization review. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time!